Hi, in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to make your Final Cut Pro X work faster because I did not know this. And I think this works for iMovie too if you have slow problems with iMovie. I think you could pretty much do the same steps. I'm not too sure about it, but anyway, this is what you do. First of all, you see this little area right here. This is to turn off the skimming of the audio. So when I turn this on, you can hear it. It's kind of irritating, and yeah, you, sh you might as well just turn it off. It's annoying. And when you turn it off, it'll work faster. See the response? You get faster response. This is video skimming. I think if you turn this off too, it won't skim the videos, but I think you want it to. I mean, I leave this on. Yeah, so this is to not see how it won't skim. So that's two things you can do. I would leave this on. Uh, I think the audio is the most important thing. Okay, so after you do that, let's say you imported a video already and you didn't transcode. You right click it, transcode media. I know this sounds really fancy, but it's really not that complicated to understand. Transcode media really just means that you're creating a smaller file size and saving it somewhere, putting it away, and you're using the smaller file size in editing. So you're, this will load way faster because it's editing using a small, tiny, not so good quality image. So you want to create a proxy media. This is the lowest quality but the highest speed for editing. So if you don't really care about the quality while you're editing, because you can always switch it back to standard quality later, you're going to create proxy media. I already clicked it and did it when I uploaded the video so it's gray. Um, the difference between these two is create optimized media is it's higher quality so let's say you're editing but you want the quality for color correction or you just want to see detail more in the editing you will click this and you can actually click both of them you can create a proxy and an optimized media and you can actually switch between these three so what you'll do is you'll let's say you're editing something and you only need low quality you'll click proxy or and then you'll use that and then let's say there's a certain scene where you wanna use you wanna see better in the detail for color correcting so you you'd use create optimized media now this doesn't mean that you need to use this just if you want to you can and you can actually select specific clips that you want to use this so I would just create proxy media for that's what I do for the fastest loading time for this because I just want to edit get it done and then after you edit it let's say you're finished with your product the way you get it back to high quality is you go to Final Cut Pro preferences and right here it says use proxy media which I am using and this is use original or optimized media so what you're gonna do is after you're done editing you can click on use original or optimize media and it should start loading the regular uh, media or if you're using optimized media it'll load that now I didn't finish my project so I'm not gonna click on that when you're done it will start rendering this thing is a loading time thingy it shows what is loading or rendering so here you have a window it says it's loading these but they're all stopped the reason they're stopped is because I'm using proxy media so it doesn't need to load as soon as I press uh, in that other screen as soon as I click on this and press use original those will start loading but your iMovie will get I mean your Final Cut Pro X will start running really really slow so you're gonna wanna click on that and then go somewhere and let it load and render and it'll take a while and you won't be able to like use your internet and it'll be really freezy and glitchy if it's rendering really hard so that's why you wanna click this and then walk away from your project and let it all render okay so that's how to make Final Cut Pro X faster that's what I use and then when you share or export you're gonna wanna export to compressor which I use send to compressor all that is compressor is just uh, it's a program that compresses your file to the size so let's say you have you want a 720p video there's things in there that let you compress it 
specifically to 720p or 1080p and still maintain the quality so the file size will be smaller which means faster uploading to the internet and it'll still be high quality so that's what you need you need some kind of compressing software I use compressor because I got it for free so yeah and that's it if you don't know how to use compressor or want to download it for free just look on YouTube and there should be things of how to get compressor for free through a torrent and also how to use it okay that's all thank you and goodbye